Well, the crew program for the city of Worcester started in 1996, and they probably had 15, 20 kids, and uh, all the leftover boats that everybody on the lake didn't want, and I became coach in 1997, I've been coaching ever since, and we've grown from 20 kids to where we're peaked at 120. So in the fall, we usually end up with somewhere between 60 and 70 kids. In the spring, we could have 80 to 120 kids. It's open to all the uh, high school rowing pro, uh, schools in the city of Worcester. And so we're a uh, cooperative team. So we have kids from Doherty rowing with kids from South and North and Burncoat. Very diverse team. They come from every economic specter. And uh, there's a, an incredible bunch of kids. And uh, we've done exceptionally well over the years winning state titles, uh, sculling championships. Uh, we've been to the Nationals four times. Uh, and we've actually had, uh, two years ago, our lightweight double came in third in the Nationals. So, and last year they came in second in the quad. So, so we've done exceptionally well with this. Answer all the prayers that your lips place Corrupt Bible eyes I'll pull you in, let me pull you in so slow A new religion and a cold where we both cope I'll take you too far just to let go Turn off your mind Uh, is, is a very unique sport because it is a sport, it is a team sport, and there's no individual and crew. If you want to be the superstar, you can be a quarterback, go out for football. If you want to be the star in basketball, you can be the star. In crew, there are no superstars. It's either eight people or four people or two people rowing together as one. And if one outpowers the other one, the boat will go in different directions and you're not getting the match. So you have to work together. So we always tell the kids that any boat is as strong as the weakest person in it. So you got to work with those kids to make sure those kids develop just as well as the other kids, and that's how you develop and win the crews. At the end of the day, your boat is all one. So if you mess up, you all mess up. Um, so it's very, uh, you have to like really stick together and work well together. And I think that's really important, um, not just in crew, but like everywhere. You have to practice as a group because you need to get uh, used to the people that you're rowing with and how the boat feels with them. So uh, like me and uh, three of my friends, we've been practicing together for a couple of years. So when we're together, it's really good because we know how the boat feels and we get into a good rhythm. But when I'm with some people that I'm not used to, it's sloppy and it's just rough. Take you too far just to let go. Turn off your mind. 
Well, uh, most uh, most races that we do are, are regattas, where you actually are racing anywhere from 10 schools to 20 schools and in the fall. You can have some races that are up to 60 yeah. in the fall. So, no matter what, we're always racing against another team. The only difference is for fall, they're time trials, so they'll send us out at different times and then take those times and put us in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, in different races. In the spring, it, they send us all at the same time and whoever crosses the finish line first wins. In the spring, we have 2,000 meter races, which is very short. It's only around seven minutes around there. Um, so there's different boats in the spring. We have singles, doubles, quads, fours, eights. It's so much. Um, certain ones have two oars, others have more than one. Um, and same thing for the fall, only the difference is the races are a lot longer, which means they're more. They have more endurance. It's not as fast going, as fast paced. It's more about how much power can you disperse throughout the whole race and make sure that you still have a quick time. Um, to me, personally, there's not much difference between each boat. It all comes down to up here in your head and if you can just make it through that race as fast and as powerful as possible. So this uh, this season has been uh, very unique because uh, would in the fall we've had a lot of new kids and we've been really concentrating on the, the novices and trying to get all the teams to work together and so we've only had one race and uh, only part of the team could go to that because it was up in New York and then this weekend we took the team to Lowell and only three boats out of eight got to row because the winds kicked up and they scratched the race so our Big uh, race is next weekend right here, the New England Championships, which there are over 40 pro 43 programs and over 1,500 participants. It's one of the largest high school fall regattas in New England, and it's right here hosted by Worcester and Shrewsbury and Lake Winsigamie Community Rowing. So this season we've had two races so far. We raced in Saratoga, New York, and Lowell this past weekend. Um, the races have gone all right. Uh, I definitely want to improve. I think that we're uh, we were a bit unorganized at the beginning, so once we get our uh, boats together with all the good people that we're used to, uh, we'll start doing a lot better. My hopes for the rest of the season. So we have two more races, both of them being here. We have New England Junior Championships and we also have the Mass State Championships. Um, as much as I would love to medal in those races, I want to see big improvements, not only from girls varsity, but for our whole team, because we are a four-part team, having girls and boys, novice and varsity, so I would like to see improvements as well as a good performance. But, yeah. My season's going all right so far. Um, I had a race last Sunday and it got canceled, which was kind of a bummer. Um, but overall, I think I've grown a lot as a row, and I think me and my boat have come together and then Anybody's watching this and has never, you know, thought about coming to row. It's too late for this season, but we do have a spring season that starts up in mid-March, and we'd love to have you. So you don't have to have experience. We will teach you, at boys, girls, and uh, it's an incredible experience. And the one thing that I've found over the years is the friendships that these kids make here at these programs because they're diverse to all the schools. 15, 20 years from now, they're still in contact with these kids. And we have an alumni group right now that's coming back now after 10, 15 years, and they're working with us uh, to help us uh, grow the program and fundraise and things like that. So any alumni who are watching this, 
We just bought a new boat, it's called Alumni Spirit. If you want your name on it, contact Evan Johnson and you can get your name put on it. Thank you. And the, the uniqueness about the sport, like I said earlier, is a team sport. But if you're a female athlete, because of Title IX, the colleges are all looking for girls that row. And the availability of scholarships to get to a good school is unbelievable for girls. And it helps the, the, the boys because they'll get fi uh, financial aid if the school really wants them. Uh, we've had kids that have graduated from Worcester that have rowed from Harvard to Yale to Princeton to Northeastern to Holy Cross, WPI, the full gamut of uh, schools from the, the elite schools to some you know small schools. And two years ago, uh, a grad, uh, no, yeah, yeah, two years ago, one of the graduates from Worcester who went to Iona won the Dad Vils, which is one of the elite college races. So we've had kids, and, and out of my program over the last 20 years, I've had at least 12 students that have gone on to coach in rowing. As far as college, I'd really love to pursue crew further on into my college career, but you know, I'm in college to get my education, so I want to make sure that, that it fits into my schedule at the time. But yes, I do have plans to row in college. Absolutely. When I go into college, no matter what college I go to, I'm going to find a crew team. I think it's very important for me to keep on doing it. I love this sport. Uh, I really love it now, and so I think that I'm going to try to do it in college. Uh, if I if I find the time, because academics comes first. But we have like a summer crew program, so that I did it last year and it was really fun. And you can do it like no matter how old you are. So I think I'm thinking about coming back when I'm in college during the summer.